Um, I'm Jo Blair um, and this is a Celebrating Central High because uh, it's amalgamating with Church High. Oh, I think it's quite sad. Uh, yeah, I'd be sorry that Eskdale Terrace is, is no longer, but I think it's positive for the school that it's moving forward and change is always a good thing, I think, yeah. <laughs> Yes, we've had a school here since 1895, which by and large has been called Central Newcastle High School, but this is the end of a chapter. It's not the end of the school. And as one chapter closes, another is opening, uh, and we have a, a really exciting future to look forward to, but it is absolutely right and proper that we stop at this point and consider what Central High means to all of us. Uh, my name is Jane McKenzie and I left in 1968 and this used to be uh, the first part of the library and it's exactly the same as it ever was. Um, the uniforms that are here, uh, we used to wear this one over here and looking at it now we realise what ghastly colour it was, <laughs> absolutely ghastly. But we did love the blazers, um, especially the ones when we got the gold braid round, we really uh, liked those. And uh, looking at this skirt reminds me of the hassles we used to have with our form teachers about the lengths of our skirts. And uh, at one time there was a kneeling on the floor kneeling rule the floor, where yeah. you knelt on the floor and your skirt was supposed to touch the floor, but you got round that by turning it over several times at the waist. But that was about the length I remember us all having. My name is Christine Short. I left at Light Jane in 1968. Um, I just felt I had to come because Central High I was at Central High from the age of four until I was 18. Uh, it was such a, um, a good thing in my life. I enjoyed my time here and I was very sad to hear of the, the closing of the old building and just had to come and say a last goodbye and remember some happy times and how things have changed since we were here in 68. Um, I'm Janet Griffin. I went to Central High from about the age of eight. Um, so I've come back just to see some old friends that I've kept in touch with as well since we left school and just to see how things have changed and almost to see it in its last form as Central High. It's only when you get older and later on in life that you really appreciate kind of the education that you've got from Central High. I think at the time I probably didn't value it as much and now I can kind of probably see the benefit of having attended a school such as Central High. Okay, I'm Molly Bell, I'm an old girl. Um, we choreographed the dance a couple of years ago in a previous dance show, um, basically because we were leaving that year. Um, so we wanted to do a dance that kind of like reflected our time at school basically, and so we kind of tried to recreate that. And then we thought we'd try and recreate it with the current school girls at the minute, um, just to kind of summarize school life. Um, my name's Louise Allison, I left here in 1984 um, and I've just come to meet an old friend for the final few days of Central High. It's really sad. <laughs> What's your strongest memory? Fun, um, 
the games and uh, the, 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 all of the staff. It was just a very nice atmosphere. I thoroughly enjoyed my school days here. I think just seeing how the school's changed and developed since we were there, um, seeing things that we remember, uh, what is actually still remaining from when we were here. My name is Bethany. Um, I left school in 2005, uh, so it's nine years since we left. And we're here just for the last day of Central High before it merges with Church High. Um, I'm Sophie Martin and I left at the same time as Bethany, so in 2005. Um, and I'm just here because I have really fond memories of Central and wanted to sort of say goodbye to it, I suppose, as it is. What did you learn? Well, as Bethany said, with long-lasting friendships, um, how to be around other girls and may <laughs> maybe fall out but then get back on with it. Um, and then, obviously, um, lots of academic stuff as well. I'm Sarah Davies and we are currently in the art room in Russell House, the art block. And um, this has always been a really good space for everyone to work in because um, with it being a renovated synagogue, there's some beautiful stained glass windows upstairs and everyone just feels so inspired while they're here. It's always been really fun and I really associate this space with being with my class and us all doing our work together and um, you know the late night hard work and things, us all being together in here. But yeah, it's really fond memories. My name is Michael Tippett and I'm currently the deputy head here at the Central High Senior School and I've been here for a number of years now so uh, I'm here really to, um, well it's part of my duties um, but also to mingle and meet with old girls and staff who, uh, who've been associated with the school for, for quite a long time. I think the, the old girls and the staff will always be welcome, even when we move into, into a new building and we have a, a new coloured uniform that's actually starting in September. But I think you know, we'll always be here for people to come back and, and visit us. Um, and you know, the, heart, the heart of Central High, I think, will, will carry forward into the new place. Good afternoon, Central Newcastle High School. Previously, Gateshead High School opened in 1876. In 1895, named afresh to become our CNHS. Houses, Windsor, Tudor, Stuart, Plantagenet, red, green, yellow, and blue. Which of the houses is special to you? Uniform, not compulsory at first, except for gymnastics. And then it was green. <laughs> Hazel and gold was chosen, but difficulties with dyes produced yellow and brown eventually. <laughs> and for 90 years, that was seen. Then purple and gray to the present day. Strong leadership from headmistresses, Miss Mobley, Miss Hiley, Miss O'Dell, Miss Leal, Miss Belton, Miss Russell, <laughs> Mrs. Chapman, Mrs. Griffin, and Mrs. French, who, all of them, within the Girls' Day School Trust, embrace the new whilst preserving the old. Meeting challenges, seizing opportunities, being bold, using the buildings wisely, constructing new to provide for everything the school needed to do. The buildings will change, the people too, but as Shakespeare wrote, what's in a name? Our memories, our school with us will remain. God save the Queen. At the time, Central was very academic. The emphasis was definitely on academic work. We were encouraged 
to do our own research and expected to monitor our work ourselves. Certainly, it was made very clear that our future was our own responsibility and nobody else's. I've lived down south for like over 30 years now, but I still meet people who say, oh yeah, Central High, you know, I know somebody went there and every, nobody forgets it. It's marvellous grounding. Um, I had a wonderful time. Thank you very much. So for me, having been at this school um, reminds me of what I learned of um, being a confident young woman, like you say, Mrs. French, that there were no questions about our right to participate in public life um, just as much as anybody else. Um, what was expected of us was that was the highest expectation. So I feel huge gratitude to my parents for having chosen to send me here. Um, so I have overridingly good memories of Central High. It's a school that gave me an excellent education. I think all, all parents, all they want from an education is it will help their children achieve their potential. And I certainly think that Central High helped me achieve my potential. I was very sad when I heard the school was closing. I, had, um, I was very nonplussed. I had a, a sense of loss which I couldn't quite articulate and I suspect that a lot of people had that loss as well. But reflecting today, I can't do it as eloquently as Emily Bronte or anybody like that, but what's occurred to me is that even though the school may be changing and moving on, I've still got the memories that I've got and they're extremely happy memories, so thank you all. Throughout school it was embedded in us that with a bit of hard work and determination we could be whatever we wanted to be and get wherever we wanted to go. It was a privilege to go to Central High. Um, there were too many good memories of the class of 96 to list. Um, I know I speak on behalf of all my Central friends when I say it was a wonderful time of our lives. There are so many things that I would like to thank people for, for my time at Central and our time at Central. Um, but really it's the experiences and the opportunities that we were given. Um, whether it was you know, heading to Athens for the Rome trip, the classics trip, or whether it was heading to the Belgian battlefields, uh, going on DOV adventures with Mr. Donachy, um, or indeed climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, or just trying to play cards really discreetly in the library. Um, <laughs> I would just like to say that Central really has, as it's been said before, really has made me who I am, and I would like to say a massive thank you to that um, on behalf of our year group, and um, really thank you for the friends and the memories that will stay with me forever. Central may be becoming a new school, but Central will live on through the girls. I've made my best, best friends at this school and yeah, we've stayed in touch through uni and I'm sure we will forevermore through birth, death, marriages, whatever. Um, sorry, I don't mean to be morbid. Um, but I, I just, we're going to stay friends forever and honestly, I cannot thank Central more for the friends that I've made from this. So I just want to finish on saying it may be goodbye to Central, but Central girls will stick together forever. Um, and being the final head girl at Central High has been a hugely re rewarding role and an invaluable experience. And although it's always sad to say farewell to a place in which we've all had so many good memories, I think being a part of the new school will give all of the members of our school community a really good opportunity to be a part of something great and a part of something that will make history. And Central isn't just a school, I think it's a place that becomes a second home. So I look forward to seeing how this same spirit is conveyed in the new school next year. The friendship is a priceless gift that can't be bought or sold, but to have an understanding friend is worth far more than gold, and the golden chain of friendship is a strong and blessed tie, binding kindred hearts together as the years go passing by, and that is absolutely what I feel today, and what I hope that we will continue to feel whatever the school, which is Educating Girls in Newcastle is called, um, because the strength of your support and the community that you have created is just fantastic. And I am, as I said at the beginning, extremely grateful to you all. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck as your lives continue, but I hope that you will maintain those links with us. Thank you very, very much indeed for coming this morning.